Hello friends. In this video series, we are going to study ASP.NET and BC5. Let us see a short introduction of it. Basically, ASP.NET MVC is a web development framework and which is very popular nowadays given by the Microsoft. One more important thing about it that it is totally open source. You can contribute to its code and it is totally free unlike your ASP.NET web form. You can say that it is a successor of ASP.NET web form which is also a popular technology of Microsoft for the web development and it is based on MVC pattern and it also includes the best part of existing ASP.NET platform for example authentication authorization these are the best part of a ASP.NET that are included as it is in MVC and we are going to see this part in detail in further lectures now let us see the history of MVC Currently, we are using MVC 5 and in this video series, I am going to teach you MVC 5 only. Before MVC 5, MVC 1, MVC 2, MVC 3 and MVC 4 were introduced. We are totally focusing on MVC 5. MVC 1 was released in March 2009 and since then, there are totally 5 major release of ASP.NET MVC 5. Now let us understand the MVC pattern. The key terms of MVC are model, view and controller. Let us understand the first term. What is model? Basically, uh, model is just a plain C sharp class which is going to represent your data. Okay. Now, Either you can accept this kind of data from user or you can display that data on your view or in simple language I will say you can display that data on your page. Basically to accept the information from user or to display information to the user models are used. Now that models can be a complex type of data or primitive type of data. Now basically when we actually work on real application we mainly deal with two types of model. Uh, these are just a general classification, not exact, or you can say it is conceptual classification. First one is domain model, and another one is view model. If your model is going to represent a database table, then you can call it as domain model. And if your model is going to represent a plain data that is presented to the user, Okay, and it is not representing any database table then you can call it as view model basically we deal with view models mainly domain models are separately created in our uh, data access layer so in MVC we basically models will represent the view models and as we go further we'll see this concept in more detail sorry now let us understand the next term. What is view? Views are basically a web pages in simple language. Web pages through which user interacts with your web application. Okay. Before that we are going to call it means before MVC we are going to call it as web page. So we are views are nothing but a web pages or your application view UI which get displayed and with which the user or a client of our application interacts. Now the major important term in MVC that is controller. So controllers are mediator between models and views. Basically controls everything in your MVC application. It accepts the request, it performs the operations on models and it selects the specific view to get displayed on your webs on your browser so basically total handling is performed by controller that's why it is named as controller so m stands for models v stands for views and c stands for controller now let us see how this model view 
tasks and controller interact with each other basically when we open any website we type a url on the address bar okay so let us call it as a request or basically it is a request right so request is initially given to the controller okay whenever you type anything on the address bar it is treated as a request and when you hit a enter key that request is sent to the controller now controller start processing that request okay it interact with model it will perform some operation on model and then model data will be returned to the controller now the controller will select the appropriate view and that view get rendered to the user as a response now after that user will interact with view okay and then after interaction will go through view now next time if, if user want to interact with view next time if user want to interact user will click on a submit button or click on any links so that submit button or a link will given to the controller then controller again interact with model then mo whatever will be the model data will be given to the controller and then after controller choose a proper view and that view get rendered so only first time controller will interact directly with a user and in a successive request the uh, user interacts with view not directly with the controller so as you can see view and model do not interact directly okay there is a mediator that is controller which handles the interaction between them okay so in successive lecture we are going to see how this works practically also now let us see the minimum system requirement if you want to uh, execute mvc program on your machines so your machine should have windows 7 operating system but service pack 1 i'll recommend windows 10 and currently i am also uh, going to show you all these things on windows 10 at least your machine have should have a 2 gb ram again i'll recommend 4 gb or 8 gb ram then you should have visual studio community editions okay you can have a professional edi edition but community edition is again open source you can have 2013 15 or 17 i am currently using 2013 and you can download it from a microsoft website then again for database interaction we need a uh, sql server microsoft sql server 2014 Okay thank you friends for further details you can refer uh, prove asp.net mvc4 or mvc5 fifth edition okay thank you